in this video tutorial, we will learn how we can create a chatbot to chat with our documents using Llama 2 or OpenAI as our large language model and we will also be using Chroma as our vector database and to do all this implementation, we will be using Langchain framework. So here is the complete architecture. So let me just show you. So let me just zoom it out in. So you can see that uh, first the user will upload the documents whether they can be in the text file, they can be a docs file or they can be in the PDF file. Then we will extract the data from these uh, documents. Okay, so as you know that either we use Lava model or uh, OpenAI model, they have some input token limits. Okay, so as we have the extracted the data from these documents, so we cannot pass the extracted data directly to the large language model because they have the token limit. So we split the data into multiple chunks. Then we create embeddings for each of the text chunks. And then we store the embeddings into a knowledge base. So after splitting that uh, data into text chunks and creating embeddings for each of the text chunk, we build a semantic index. And then we store all these embeddings in a knowledge base. So embeddings are basically vectors which contains a uh, which are, which are basically floating point numbers like you can see here 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.3 okay so to reduce the size or to compress the size of text chunks we create embeddings and embeddings uh, contain uh, floating point numbers okay so uh, you can see that then we basically build some ending index and then we create knowledge base using these embeddings so next we can see that when the user asks a question we create the embeddings for the question and then we uh, do a similarity search okay so we need we find out uh, the answer from this uh, the user has asked we find uh, uh, the, the question the user has asked we find try to find the uh, answer for that question in our uh, database or embeddings which we have uh, stored okay in the knowledge base so in the, from the knowledge base we try to find the answer of that question and then we rank the result like we find that uh, rank the top three uh, answers, okay, which are similar uh, from the user question, okay. Then we just pass our results to the large language model, and then we also pass the uh, question directly to the large language model as well. And the large language model uh, generates a natural response. So this is how this complete architecture works. So here is the code. So we will be using doing this using Llama 2 as well as OpenAI. So let's first see how we can do this with Llama 2. So first of all, I will install all the packages. So before running the script, please make sure that you have selected a runtime as GPU. So it's fine. So this installation might take few minutes. So let's wait until uh, this gets completed and then we will uh, go ahead. So this might take few more seconds. So now this package is installed. So now I will just uh, install the Chroma DB package because Chroma is our vector store, or you can say that uh, in is our vector database where we will be storing our embeddings. So yeah, in Chroma we store our embeddings locally, while in Pinecone we store our embeddings in the cloud. So in the previous tutorial we discussed about uh, Pinecone as well. So you can just check it. How you can store your embeddings in the Pinecone vector store and we store those embeddings in the ground cloud while in Chroma we store our embeddings locally. So this might take few more seconds for it to get completed. So let's wait for a few four more seconds uh, as it gets completed now. The package is installed, so let's install OpenAI and Dict Open package and then we are good to go ahead. So now I will just import all the required libraries. We require PyPDF loader so that we can load the PDF file and extract the data from it. And then we require text loader so we can upload a .txt file and extract the data from it. And then we require docs to text loader so that we can upload a dot docs file or a word, like word files and we can extract the data from it. And then we will do porting characters, text splitter so that we can split the text into uh, chunks. Okay. And then we require hugging face embeddings. So we require hugging face embeddings because uh, 
we will be converting our text chunks into a bedding so we will be creating a beddings for each of the text chunks like i show you over here uh we will be creating a beddings for each of the text chunk so for this we require we are using uh sentence transfer embeddings open source embedding model and we will be using sentence transfer embeddings plus we require chroma because chroma is our vector database or vector store where we will store our embeddings and to access the model from or to download the model or to download the uh, llama 2 model from hugging face require the notebook login where we will just log into our uh, hugging face account by entering our api key over there or entering our hugging face api key and we will be able to uh, assess the models and repos which are in our hugging which is in, which are in the hugging face uh, so and we can download those models in our notebook and then we require torch transformers so that we can import auto tokenizer and we can uh, convert our text into an array then we require pipeline and uh, as we are in fact implementing llama 2 models uh, locally we are not assessing it through api key so we require a in case pipeline so we will be creating a pipeline and then we will require conversational retrieval chain so that we can do the question answer and then uh, we are importing conversation buffer memory so that we can save the chat history okay so that if i ask some question that is relevant to the uh, previous question so our mem mem uh, model has some chat history like we see in chat gpd application then we require open a embeddings i will also show you how you can use open source embedding model and how you can use do embed create embeddings for each of the text chunk using open ai embeddings then we are importing chat open ai so that we can chat uh, with our uh, chat with our basically large language model and we are using uh, what i will be doing uh, using the llama 2 model as well as i will be using the open ai model which is not free the closed source model and it has some cost associated with it then uh, import os so that we can uh, link down the path of our data data folder and then we require sys so that i can generate a system message if i just want to exit the process so let's import all these required libraries so now you can see that we have imported all the required direct, uh, libraries so now i will just create a directory over here by the name docs where i will just upload my pdf files you can also upload the word files or text file as well so now you can see here i have just created a directory by the name docs which you can see over here so now i will just upload a pdf file over here so i will just upload uh, this resume over here as well as now i will just upload another file over here okay so this can be this So let me just share about these PDF files which I have uploaded. So I have uploaded these two PDF files. One is this uh, AI generated resume, which you can see over here. And other is this uh, document. This is the official v 7 uh, pay research article. v 7 is an object detection uh, model. Okay, and this is the v 7 research paper. So I've just uploaded this paper and this resume. Okay, so these are the two different kind of documents which we have uploaded over here you can also upload any kind of uh, pdf file other documents or any txt file so these three extensions are supported over here so i will just run this now so now i will just extract the data from these two pdf files and this data is stored in the variable document which you can see over here as well okay so now we'll just split the text chunk so here i'm just splitting the text into chunk and each chunk will have 500 characters so these are so now uh, what i will do is uh, as i told you we will split the extracted data okay so as i told you that we will uh, uh, first extract the data from the documents then we will split the data into chunks so now you can see that we have extracted the data from the documents now I will just split the data into different chunks. Then I will create embeddings for each of the test chunks. So I have just split the split uh, the data into different chunks. You can see that in the code I have already showed you. Now I will just create embeddings for each of the text chunk. Okay. So now you can see that we have split the data into text chunks. Now I will just create embeddings for each of the text chunks. So we can also use hugging face uh, embeddings 
you can use untest transform embeddings plus we can also use open AI embeddings so open AI embeddings are not free it has some cost associated with them so first let's see how we can do this with open AI embeddings and uh, open AI models then you will see how we can do this with hugging face embeddings and llama 2 model So here you can see that I have just passed my open API key over here. I'm just creating an environment and here I'm just downloading embeddings from open AI embeddings over here. And let me show you by default it uses text embeddings ADA002 model. You can just change the embedding model as well, but this is a default model we has been set and we are using this. So now you can see that I'm just uh, initializing the Chroma vector database. So here what we are doing is that uh, we, we uh, you can see that we have created uh, created our document in text chunks. So you can see that we have extracted a data over here from the PDF, and then we have just created a data into different text chunks. Now what I will do is I will just create embeddings for each of the text chunks. So what I'm doing here is that I'm just creating embeddings for each of the text chunks and just saving those embeddings into vector database, or you can say that vector store or knowledge base. So using Chroma, I'm just saving those embeddings into this uh, Chroma knowledge base. So Chroma is basically our vector database or vector store and we are storing our embeddings in Chroma knowledge base. So here you can see that I have just passed the downloaded embeddings over here and here I've just passed the doc text chunks, okay? So in this variable, we have our document chunks or text chunks, okay? So now what I'm doing is that I'm now just converting the text chunk into embeddings, creating embeddings for each other text chunk. And then I'm just creating a knowledge base. Okay. So knowledge base, you can see that yeah, this can be. So here it is. Chroma vector store. Or you can say Chroma vector database. Okay. So this is the basically uh, what we are creating. So knowledge base represent Chroma vector store or vector database. Okay. So let's run this then. So you can skip the network walking because we require this when we try to download model from Hugging Face. So just skip this. So now I will just initialize my OpenAI model over here. We are using GPT 3.5 Turbo. GPT 4 is available as well. You can use it as well. And here I'm just defining the temperature as 0.7. Temperature, temperature terms define how creative your model will be. So uh, if temperature value varies from 0 to 1, so if the temperature value is 0, it means the model is not creative, it is not taking any risk. But if the temperature value is 0 0.8 or 0 0.9, it means the model is creative and it will take this. Okay, so here I'm just defining conversation buffer memory as well, so that it can drag inputs and uh, outputs and it can uh, save the conversation in the memory as well. Okay. So here I'm just creating a conversation retrieval chain. Okay, so conversion retrieval chain is basically built on retrieval QA chain and uh, the conversion retrieval chain which basically provide a chat history component as well. So you can just define memory or you can uh, randomly add chat history as well. So here I'm just asking a first question, Velo V7 is trained on which data set? So let's see what the answer we get from here. So Yolo V7 is trained on MS Coco data set. So that's like, look like this. Here I will just write my first uh, question. Yolo V7 is used for. So I'm just, uh, Yolo V7 is a real time object detection algorithm that is used in computer vision application. So I just asked this question from this document and I've just asked from this stretcher green CV. Please tell me Russian green education. Okay, so let's see what response do we get from this. So Rachel Green education includes a PhD in English from University of Illinois and MA in English. Okay, so if uh, uh, please share our experience. So you can see we have the chat history available over here as, as well. So here you can see we have the warning as well. You can simply import warnings and ignore this warning as well at the start. So Rachel Green has experience in teaching and advising, and advising specifically as composition instructor. instructor. Okay. So Dollar V7 outperforms which 
Okay. So let's see what response we get. So YOLO V7 outperforms YOLO R, YOLO X, YOLO V5. Okay. So if I just want to exit this chat, I can just write Q exit. So if I just write Q, it's exiting. Okay. That's good. So we are done with this. So we have seen that how we can create a chat code to chat with our multiple documents using uh, OpenA and OpenA embeddings. Okay. And we are using uh, Langchain as the framework. So now let's do all this with Llama 2 and we will not be using any open source embeddings op or open a embeddings or open a model. We will be using open source embeddings and open source models. So we will be using hugging face embeddings and uh, Llama 2 models. So these are both free and they have no cost associated with them. So let's do it. First of all, I will just download the hugging face embeddings from here. Okay, so now I'm just using Llama 2 model. So I'm just download Hugging Face Embeddings. So you can see that the embeddings are being downloaded. So now I will just, uh, let's see whether we are able to download Hugging Face Embeddings. So yes, our embeddings are currently Hugging Face Embeddings. And here I'm just passing documents chunks and let's see how does it goes. Okay, so I think I just need to restart the runtime because Okay, so let's uh, restart the runtime and do it start because our previous embeddings are creating an issue for us Okay, so let me just figure this out Oh, I have just restarted the runtime and so now I've just installed all the required packages. So now we will see how we can do with open source embeddings from Sentence Transformer and how we can use this open source model, Lama 2 model. So previously we have done this using OpenA model and OpenA embeddings because they are not free and they have costs associated with them. So we are just trying it out with, uh, open, so, uh, with open source embeddings from Hugging Space embeddings. We are using Sentence Transformer embeddings in this uh, tutorial. And, as open source embeddings plus we will be using open source model Lama 2 model as well so Lama 2 is the latest large language model released by Meta IA so we are just installing the packages again so this might take few more seconds so now you can see that we have installed the required packages so I will just import all the required libraries so we are just following the same procedure which we already did okay Okay. So now I will just go below down and download the model from hugging face. Okay. So I will just uh, do a network login from here. Okay. And I will be just going to my hugging face account. Okay. And from my hugging face account, I will just go to settings. And in assess tokens, I will just find this, copy this token and I log in over here so that I can just download model from hugging face. Okay. So you can see login successful. So now I'm just downloading Lama 2 chat model with 7 billion parameters from hugging face. And I'm just using, uh, including four bit integer quantization so that I have the optimized model over here. By default, it has a 8, 16 bit, but as you can see that I'm just using Google Colab free version and it offers 15 GP graphic card. A uh, Google Colab paid subscription offers 40 GP graphic card. So you can just use Google Colab paid subscription if you want, but I'm using Google Colab free subscription. So it offers 15 GP graphic card. So I have to optimize my resources, uh, so that I can just, uh, use it easily uh, so that I don't face the issue that runtime crashes. So I'm just using 4-bit integer quantization so that I can just use the model or utilize the Lama 2 model as per my resources available. Okay. So now you can see the model is being downloaded and here we have auto tokenizer so that we can convert our text into a numerical array. And here we are using Lama 2 model over here and just downloading the model. So there are two ways. Basically, you can just assess the model from Hugging Face through API key and other is to download the model locally. So 
I have tried to uh, assess the order to Hugging Face from Hugging Face through API key, but it was not working. So I'm just downloading the model, uh, Llama 2 model from Hugging Face locally. So this might take some time because it is quite large. Okay. So after we download the uh, Llama 2 model from Hugging Face, I will just create a pipeline next. Okay. Now we have downloaded the model. So now I will just create a pipeline. Okay. So I'm just creating a hugging face pipeline. Okay, so we don't want to open any models. If this okay, so now you can see that we have a uh, Lama 2 model which you can see over here. So that's look quite good. Okay, so we have created a hugging face pipeline and we have all everything ready over here. Okay, so now I will just create memory over here. Before we load the conversation chain, so let's go above and let's compute the rest of our part. So now here I will just create a directory by the name documents. Okay, so you can see this directory over here. So I will just upload uh, the same PDF file. So let me upload these two PDF files. Okay, so now you can see that I have uploaded uh, these two PDF files. So now I will just extract the data from these PDF files and split the data into text chunks. So, okay. So now I will just download embeddings from again face embeddings. So I'm just using sentence transfer embeddings. It is open source embeddings and it has no cost associated with it. Okay. So we have the hugging face embedding, so that's good. So let's just go down from here and let's run this. Okay, so we have just skipped this step over here. We have, uh, so we have downloaded the hugging face embeddings and we have split the text into chunks. So now we just want to uh, convert the document chunks or text chunks which we have created into embeddings as then we just need to create a vector database uh, use our knowledge base using chroma vector database okay so we have just uh, converted our document chunks into embeddings and now we are just creating a vector database okay where we are the, or you can say knowledge base where we are just storing these embeddings which we have created for that text chunks okay so let's go down from here Okay, so let's ask a question and let's see what response do we get. Here I've just asked a question. Yolo V7 is trained on which data set. So let's see what response do we get from here. So I've just asked Yolo V7 is trained on which data set. So let's see. And here you can see that we have saved our embeddings in Chroma vector database you have created so here you can see that embeddings files over here okay so this might take few more seconds before it is ready There you can see that we have the response your lobby 7 is trained on MS Cocoa data set which contain 80,000 image and 30,000 annotation. So this is not look quite good. So, okay. So we can just adjust these maximum new tokens over here so that we don't get this types of answers. So along with this now you can just interact your document board as well like we did previously and you can just generate your required response as well. So that's all from this video tutorial. I hope you have learned something from this. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.